Hello everyone. Welcome to the video on the concept of freezing point depression and how this can be used to adjust the tonicity of the solution or to bring isotonicity. Now let us understand certain things. You take pure water, put it in a refrigerator. At zero degrees, it freezes, it becomes ice. So the freezing point of the pure water is zero degrees. Clear? Now, take tears or blood plasma, our tears or blood plasma, put it in the refrigerator, they will not freeze at 0 degrees, they freeze at minus 0 0.52 degrees centigrade. So the freezing point is reduced. Why? See the pure water freezes at 0 degrees, but tears and blood plasma freezes at minus 0 0.52 degrees, the temperature is going down. The reason is tears and blood plasma has got solutes or salts. You taste your tears, it will be salty in nature. So when you add salt to the solution, freezing point is going down. This is called as freezing point depression. So this is the concept of freezing point depression. So you take a solution, add little amount of salt, the freezing point goes down. Now how much goes down is depending upon the amount of salt you add it. This is what is called as colligative properties. The property is completely depend upon the number of solute particles. Let me put it in a different way. So you take 0.9% sodium chloride solution, put it in the refrigerator, it freezes at minus 0.52 degrees centigrade. 0.9% minus 52 degrees centigrade. You take 1% solution of sodium chloride, put it in the refrigerator. It freezes at minus 0.58 degrees centigrade. What happened? 0.9%. That means you have 0.9 grams of sodium chloride. Freezing point is depressed to 0.52. 1%. You have 1 gram of sodium chloride. It further depressed to 0.58. So why the difference? Because of the concentration of the solute. This is what is called as colligative property. Now what is the significance of this? See. Any solution which has got 0.52 degrees centigrade of freezing point depression will be isotonic. Why? Our TS and blood plasma freezes at minus 0.52 degrees centigrade. So if you have a hypotonic solution, you can adjust the tonicity, you can bring back it to isotonic by adding salt solution that is sodium chloride. So this is how you can adjust the tonicity and make it to isotonic solutions. Let us see with an example. See, I'm not giving any numerical uh, things. I, 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 I'm not writing any numerical things. I'll just say, it, try to understand the concept. Imagine you have a procaine hydrochloride solution or something is there, for which the ISO, uh, for which the freezing point depression is uh, minus 0 0.23 degrees. Understand this one. So you take the pro, uh, procaine hydrochloride, put it in the refrigerator, it freezes at minus 0 0.23 degrees centigrade. This is what is uh, uh, freezing point is. Now, what is body fluid freezing point depression? It is minus 0.52. Now, what do you have solution? It is minus 0.23. What is the difference? This is 23 and this is 52. 33, 43, 53 would be 30. So, this is 29 minus 29 degree centigrade difference is there. You have 23, you need to get 52. Now, understand this. If you add 1% sodium chloride solution, how much freezing point depresses? It is 0 0.58. We have seen it, 0 0.58. Now, the difference between procaine chloride and isotonic solution is, what is the difference? It is 0 0.29. If you add 1% sodium chloride, freezing point depresses to 0 0.58. If you add half of it, 0.5% solution, what is the half of 0 0.58? It is 29, 0 0.29. So in order to make this procaine chloride isotonic with body fluids, you need to add 0.5% sodium chloride solution. So the freezing point further depresses from 2.3 to it goes to 0.52. This is the concept of freezing point depression and adjusting freezing point depression to isotonic solutions. If you have any doubt, please leave a message in the comment box. I'll get back to you. Please listen this video again. You will get the concept clarity. If, if, if the concept is clear, you can solve any kind of problem related to this concept. Thank you for watching this video. All the best.